Greetings, Spirit of Christ Church. Jesse Still here. I hope you're doing great today. This morning, I was driving my daughter to school, and the sun was up high in the sky, and it was so bright. It was almost blinding. Um, it was hard to see where I was going. It was glorious, though, and it reminded me immediately of the scripture where it talks about Jesus, and it says that his face shines like the sun in all of its strength. And I thought, wow, what a glorious reality to look in the face of God. Whereas I couldn't see where I was going, I wanted to look away from this sun. I know that when we look at Jesus, we will never want to look away because we will have no other agenda and no other place to go. But it also made me think that to, and realize and know that today that His face is shining down on you and me. He has caused His face to shine on you. And the Bible says that His will for us is that we would abound in hope, that we would overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That is His agenda for you today, that you would abound and overflow with hope. You know, many times in life we hold back from giving or serving or loving people because we have a, a fear that we'll lose something, that we'll lack, that we'll get hurt or whatever. But that should never be a thought when we are in Christ because we have been given an abundance. We've been given freely and everything we'll give will be given back in greater measure. And so I want to encourage you to not fear lack, not fear loss, and, and consider how can I freely give today? And in response to even the message that was shared on Sunday by Garrett, how can I share the goodness of God with someone today? Because I have so much to give. The, the hope, the joy, the peace of God is abundant over me today. His face is shining. Who can you love today? Who can you share His goodness with today? How can you give how can you serve? There are a million opportunities. And, and I want to encourage you, stop thinking about what you're going to lose. Think about what you can give because you've been given. You have received so much in the joy and love of God. It's a good day to be with Jesus. We are about 10 days into the 21 days of dancing on the rooftops, that is, seeking to hear and see what God is doing. And I just see the Lord uh, inviting us into great adventure with Him. I see His church arising in our city. I see hope abounding by the power of the Holy Spirit. What are you seeing? What are you hearing from the Lord? I want to encourage you to ask Him today. As we do these 21 days, we're, we're excited about where the Lord will be leading us as a spiritual family. And I look forward to this weekend being with you, but we've got several days before then for you to meet with God, to let His face shine on you, and then go shine. Shine on your family, shine on your classmates, shine in your workplace, and give Him glory. And let's come together on Sunday to celebrate all that His goodness has done with us.